Okay, hello and welcome back. So let's work on this case. As I mentioned, I love that I have done it a gazillion case uh, a gazillion times. And this is a case I use just to test any new tool I, I use. Now it can be solid modeling, CAD tool, machine tool, or CFD solver. So basically I know I know very well and it's a quite fast case, very flexible. You can do many things. Any case. So basically, this is what we want to do. Okay. I know I don't going to spend too much time in, in on set on, on shape. I'm going to do things a little bit fast, but hopefully you are going to get the idea how things work. There are many videos, you know the on shape uh channel page they have many videos and also on youtube so you will find many more so basically i want to remind you that if you want to follow my workflow there is no right or wrong there are many ways to do things just move this bar here and you can see each step that i'm doing okay so if you want to follow the precise workflow i'm going to do, create a new document here so create part studio the video description as usual you get the link to this document so basically this is what we want to do we have some draws dimensions here so 3000 let's let's uh, so basically what i do i don't like to go precise into dimensions i do my my to this caching and then you give you no know, the dimensions and everything where i just so let's sketch in this plane okay let me put it here normal insert and sketch and remember here always you start from uh, to this cache and then you you construct your solid so you can start in the origin there or anywhere so just to show i would start somewhere here okay it doesn't matter but put here then let's say that i want to do something like this okay let me put it like this and then we put it like this kind of represents now the center line okay and see that i didn't put any dimensions so now i'm going to add dimensions here so let's say that this is let's say that this is three fit to screen and automatically it will scale everything to three and if i go back here this should be 1.5 this is one 1.5 let me go here 1.5 1.5 okay see the line is blue meaning that it's still it's not it's not fully constrained and it's still you can move something and it would change it's not a problem okay and now let me go here a circle put it here and that point that you see here in the bottom that is a constraint that is coincident there and there you go the backbone then you can trim things so here you have this option and uh, let me go trim this it become over constrained okay so also this is not an issue but it's better to erase one dimension and there you go it's blue okay and probably i don't need this or probably i can make this a construction line Okay, let me go, sorry, so control set here, construction line. So it's something that I can use you now as support, which is important. All around, we're going to have construction lines. So it's very important to define those. And that's it. This is the main part, okay? The path, central path. And then we have this path here, this part here that is a 45 degrees. So you can do this in a different sketch or in a same sketch. I will do it in the same sketch, but have in mind you can do it in a different in different sketch and there is no problem. So basically it's this line here that it goes here. But actually let me show you here. So I have this one intercept here of 45 at this point and this have a radius of two. So just to show you something else. So I can pick this one and there are many functions here. Let me use offset and let me offset this one by 0 0.5. Okay, it can be another construction line. So you can go, let's say that I want this one also construction line. And now let me do like this, put it there. And let me add a dimension from here to here of 45. Okay, so just to stress that I, 
constructing the, my geometry in this way. There are many ways to do it. Probably this is not the easiest way. It's not the most efficient one, but it works. Okay. And from here, then there is this line. Okay. That it was, I think, one. There you go, yes. So let's say that is one from the CS. Yes. And this is okay, all lines or guidelines that I can use to do my extrusion. So at this point, I need to create the profile that needs to follow that path. So how do we do that? And there is where this construction surfaces and planes it comes. So I need to construct a sort a support plane here to do the sketch or here. Okay, that is normal to this line and passing through this point. And to do so here, we have all those options. So we're happy with our sketch. Okay, and uh, let me put it there. And here you have the option plane tool. So you click there, you have many options. So let's say that I want point normal, select the point and select the line. And there you go. You have your plane there. So I decided to put it. In this point, you can put it in any point. Okay, it's up to you. And in this plane, let me do another sketch. And this sketch is circle there. And that's all. The circuit is attached to that point. That point is already there. I can see that point. Remember that you can pro project some other entities into this sketch. See, so here you have the projection tool. So for instance, you want to access this one that you don't see in this in this plane, in this plane, just click there and everything will be projected. Okay, very useful. Okay, so there you go. Uh, let me get the dimensions. Okay, diameter is one and give dimensions. Diameter one. And there you go. So see that now this one is black, meaning that you have dimension, but also it's coincident here. You have constraint okay, with that point. So here you have many constraints. So play with those constraints. At this point, I'm happy. And what we need to do is swap here. So you have extrusion is linear. And what we can do in this case, swap there, which means I want a new subject, solid, select the face, and then swap pass, swap pass, select there. And there and there you go as you see quite easy then let me show the sketch again that it is turn off automatically and there you go so now we need to go and create this pipe there so basically we have that support k in the in the starting sketch we added everything okay i did it in one single sketch remember you can do it in a different sketch there is no problem and here as in the previous case, we need a support plane, point normal, point and normal. There you go. Then a sketch here. The circus, I already accessed that point, but if you don't have, you don't have access to that point, you can project it. Oh, let me do it there. I project it. And there you go. So this circle, it is diameter 0.5. Okay, so let me go, let me give dimensions, 0.5, and there you go. And at this point, we can do an extrusion, okay? So it can be also swap or, or extrusion, okay? So better let's do an extrusion and do a full emergent because it's linear, so it's up to you, okay? So let there, um, for instance, I can just push it like this, and there you go. And automatically, I want to do the merging, okay? So add, or you can create a new solid, so it will be up to you. So let's do things automatically here, and that's it. We have our geometry. So this is this is it, what we want to uh, simulate. So we have here one inlet, one inlet, one outlet, okay? And what I was mentioning that is very important to know your geometry, okay? Because usually in this case, this will be a, a, a problem. We know a snappy X mesh has problem, but this one here, you have a lot of curvature, okay? But also you have the, 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 these two surfaces that are, that are joining together or solid. So maybe you can add some fill it there so you put a fill it and this might be a solution okay and actually the, the physical object is very likely that will have something like this 
so you can add your feeling there so you can control that so it's up to you so this is it this is our geometry okay and this will be what we will use for, for the simulation uh so just to end here just to show you also how to extract the surfaces so here you have this tool let me go here offset surface so you can select there so you will have two options you can go fill it okay and you can select the edge and automatically will fill that okay but in this case it will be much easier to use offset you offset a distance of zero and there you go offset a distance of zero there you go offset a distance of zero there you go offset a distance of zero and i want to do this operation here because i want to have that pi and also this one okay this small pi And then also, if you want, and you go for this for the one with the with the fillet, you can do the same. You can offset this one, okay, a distance of zero, and then offset this one a distance of zero, and there you go. Okay, so this is how I proceed. Okay, and at this point you can export everything so you can go and export this one clip there stl or obj honestly i recommend you to work with obj it's the same stuff much better or the from the point of view there are some other additional tools that uh it, it can see more information it's easier to manipulate so i will go with stl but my advice go always for obj is the same stuff stl remember always as a test or ascii and you can go and explore and you will have it the other option will be select all this one okay so i don't want to export the part just all the surfaces right click export and then stl or obj or whatever and here you import and tick this option okay export uh unique parts and individual files so all this still will be individual or you can have a single one but it's better now because now we're going to assemble everything and at this point proceed in the same way and that's it okay so now we have the geometry let's pass to the next video we're still going to do some 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 pre-processing we're not going to do the mesh but now that we have the geometries let's do some extra pre-processing and show you some additional tools so thank you for your attention see you next video bye